everyone and welcome back to wolf and ties podcast they were talking about invictus directed by clint eastwood that say <laughs> Matt right? damon Matt okay. damon <laughs> just get it out of the way just gotta get right. it out of the way i was looking for matt damon you know probably at like a party or something like that seeing somebody randomly and guaranteed yeah. they come up to him and go Matt damon <laughs> like, i'm so sick of that Matt damon shit. yeah it's like getting <laughs> to the greek like team america if yeah. you haven't seen Team America, go watch it right now. Sure. And then come back and we'll listen to us. Yeah, and get into the Greek when <laughs> Jonah Hill goes up to the guy who plays um, Malfoy in Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, yeah, yeah, Malfoy's like, yeah, fucking great. Like, I hear that all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like so many actors probably get that shit. I watched a pretty good documentary with him, actually, because he, he uh, wanted to... Uh, yeah, that Malfoy kid, the little blonde kid there, whatever. And they, yeah. he, like, he's got that, like, he's going to look like a kid when he's, like, 40. <laughs> <laughs> all of them, though. All of the Harry Potter Yeah, a guys, lot man. of them, man. Like, Tobey Maguire. Yeah. Yeah, but the documentary is about, uh, about like, uh, uh, Comic-Con. He wanted to travel around Comic-Con and see what it was like. So he put on a mask and nobody recognized him. As opposed to, like, if if because it's Harry Potter and he's Draco Malfoy. He'd get mobbed if he, you know, that type of thing. He's that walking around at Comic Con. <clears throat> Probably Tarantino does that. No, that was back in the day, though. Like, not so much anymore because Harry Potter isn't as big anymore. So there, there's a, the new <coughs> one ones coming out. I don't give a fuck about. I think it's like the third or fourth one. The what, the, fucking, the Fantastic Beast yeah. bullshit. Yeah. 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 Ugh. Nah, I, have, I think I watched the for like half of the first one. I was like, meh. <laughs> They, like they dropped Johnny Depp and hired uh, fuck Mads. Yeah, because Johnny Depp has got beefing or with Amber Heard, and, and Amber Heard hasn't got, gotten fired. People are calling for her to get fired from uh, Aquaman. Oh yeah, because Aquaman. the whole thing they're beating the crap out of each other. <laughs> Fucking Johnny Depp and Amber Heard uh. <laughs> just beat the shit out of each other, and they're all born drunk. Fucking, he's all fucking Keith Richards like. <laughs> Yeah, so this is uh, December 11th, 2009. Mark, I remember this came out well when I was working at Blockbuster. You had a hard time remembering the name, eh? Invictus. <laughs> Invictus, yeah. Yeah, it's a poem. It's a poem. Short poem. He's like, he reads it at the end, I believe. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I thought it was, actually. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't sure, but it made a lot of sense. I had to look it up. I'm like, what is yeah. Invictus? And it's an actual, like, short, short, short poem. But yeah, uh, 60 million budget. We made 120 million, 122 million at the box office. Not bad. So uh, Clint Eastwood, Morgan Freeman, and then uh, Matt, Matt Damon. Damon. It's exactly how they won that one 120 million. <laughs> about this movie too, man. As I swear to God, it was soccer. <laughs> I think I even said it was soccer in, in one of the other podcasts. <laughs> it's a Mandela effect. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching it. It's rugby. What rugby? I could yeah. it was fucking soccer, right? <laughs> it like blew my mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. they say World Cup a lot in it. And some people think of it as like FIFA World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so Morgan Freeman, <laughs> Nelson Mandela, he's good in it. Yeah, they they like I think they do a little bit of makeup on his face or something to make him look like Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Like he He has like the, the mannerisms and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've accent. seen a lot of speeches with Nelson Mandela. Looks yeah, a lot like yeah. him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, fucking Matt Damon uh, was, uh, they got like Vanity Fair. They do like uh, things where actors talk about roles that they're in. Yeah. They talk about their career and he's talking about this movie. He's like, it was fucking damn hard to come up with that South African accent. I like, I had yeah. a really hard time with like my dialect coach trying to get that accent down. I'm like, mm. yeah, I could see that. How do you feel about his accent? It's good. Yeah, I was fine yes. with it. Yeah, he was all right. I was fine with it. Yeah. It's crazy what's going on in South Africa, though, man, with the, like apartheid and segregation. Yeah. The difference between the fucking the fields. You got the soccer field with like the little black kids are playing soccer. Then you got them playing rugby, and it's like beautiful field. Yeah. Contrast. Yeah. Was or, kind of he breaks down sad. barriers, so the story is actually crazy. He breaks down barriers right well they show at the beginning how like the like the, it was basically civil war in south pretty Africa. much yeah 
Like fucking oh, you know what's good? Crazy movie. Genocide. Crazy fucking, uh, Hotel Rwanda. Yeah, that was good. Was that crazy man. <laughs> Don Don Cheeto, right? Yeah, fucking genocide. It's nuts. Yeah, genocide. Yeah, it's fucking hacking with a machete too. It's like Jason shit. We're carrying around a fucking machete. Killing somebody with a machete is hardcore, man. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how uh, countries do that. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's like with like that. Korea. Last yeah, uh, last king of Scotland, the Uganda yeah. as well. In Congo. <laughs> but Congo yeah. is about something a little different. <laughs> uh, there's a big uh, the Russia Ukrainian thing going on, which is crazy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'll like, see. Like it's, happens, so. yeah, I know, but the last they've thing they've been beefing like, for a long time. They've been talking about this whole Ukrainian thing for a long time, man. Yeah. On and off, and fucking. Um, yeah, I think I've read something about Biden saying negotiations were still open. We're still open to, to diplomacy. So that's what probably is going to happen. Like Putin, though. Putin. Fucking hardcore. <laughs> There's me, man. <laughs> Just thinking, fucking Morgan. I bet you Morgan Freeman and Clint Eastwood are buddies. Oh, yeah. You know, like million dollar baby. And, Unforgiven. Uh, yeah. Unforgiven's good, too. Yeah. That was filmed really close to here. Yeah. I'm, Unforgiven, it's cool. Part of that movie is where Morgan Freeman, he, he doesn't have that sharpshooter skill anymore. And his hands going, he's like, "Oh man, he's like, you it's can't come with me." Damn good movie, man. Yeah, damn good movie. Million Dollar Baby is really good too, man. Yeah, I actually watched it. I think uh, a year ago. Hillary Swank, I think she won the Oscar. Yeah, yeah I believe she won it. Or yeah, Morgan Freeman, won. I don't know. No, there's yeah. a lot. Of, there's no Oscar for this one though. No, I no no nothing. No Oscar prize at all. I find this one of Clint Eastwood's misses, which isn't that bad. Yeah, for Clint Eastwood didn't get anything either. I love Grand Trino. Yeah, me too. That was good. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, like, because the segregation and all that crazy shit that's going on in South Africa. He goes for a walk, and he's got the secret server with, servers with him. Like, the van's pulling up. You know, even they show the van, they make it look like it's going to be something threatening. But it's just yeah. delivering, delivering papers. Yeah. <clears throat> that was pretty smart to see, actually. Yeah, yeah, like and just to part. show you, like, how, like, there's that Heroin. plane scene that I totally forgot about as well. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's close. Those are fucking 9-11 vibes. Just yeah. like crazy <laughs> crash the plane into the fucking... <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I didn't remember I, that. I didn't expect <laughs> like, that. Crash, crash the plane into the, the stadium. <laughs> like, they're yeah, rooting them on. It's terrifying. Of, you know, politics and sports go hand in hand. Yeah, it's crazy. Like uh, Canada versus Russia, hockey, like big time. Oh God, <laughs> the one, yeah. like uh, like the seventies one, right? Yeah, well, there's a bunch of them. Now, these states have gone uh, gone gone to Russia too. Until like '88, Russia. Well, it was basically when the the wall fell down. They let all oh, the yeah. Russian players play in the NHL. They all play for the Detroit Red Wings. Really yeah. good uh, documentary on that. Uh, who, uh, Nicholas Lindstrom. He was Russian. Oh, he? Oh, he was Czech, I think. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Fucking Russians that were playing for uh, for Detroit. A whole bunch of them, like uh, Alexei Kovalev. And, uh, oh, yeah. I could start going through the list if I actually looked it up. I oh, think uh, oh, Ovechkin's like the best player of all time. Yeah, well, he's got the most points. Uh, yeah. Crosby's catching up, though. I, mean, I saw that. Yeah, but Alex Ovechkin, like he'll hit, he'll fight, he'll score. He could do it. They came at the same time, too. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. That was like what, mid yeah. two thousands. There was uh, what you call it though? The lockout happened the year that uh, Sidney Crosby came in the league. Or no, no, Alexander Ovechkin was the year he came in the league. So they're both rookies at the same time. It wasn't going to happen. There was a lockout that, uh, in two thousand six. I, I remember uh, that. Uh, yeah, it was right after fucking the Calgary Tampa Bay series. The, the NHL had like a shortened season. There's a lockout. Uh, maybe the season was canceled completely. I can't remember. Yeah, but you fucking, I just, he's a very smart dude. Very nice guy. Fucking Nelson yeah, Mandela. Super nice. Yeah, like it actually authentic. You don't see a lot of people like that. But you never know. Like there's a lot of talk that, what's his name? Uh, Gandhi. It was actually kind of like closet racist. You hear that? Oh, it doesn't matter. We can go, go we can go through it. But yeah, fuck. Then we get like the Matt, the Matt Damon uh, intro. After all this stuff, it's just like I was saying, 
I totally forgot it was rugby. Even when I would see the rugby, I think of that episode of Friends with fucking Ross. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is called a huddle, like a come, like a scruttle. <laughs> yeah, 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 come. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Barry Central was hardcore with uh, rugby. <laughs> really hardcore. We had a good rugby team. I don't really know anything about rugby though. I'm watching it. And I'm like, I don't know fucking diddly shit about yeah, rugby. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a weird fucking sport. Nah. Not over there though. It's crazy because all the, the black fans are cheering on the other team. They can't cheer for their own country because of yeah, like, the yeah, but... shit. So they're cheering on all the other. Anybody else that comes in and plays? Yeah. Uh, they pointed that out. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. I guess uh, the states cut off all their importing, ex- exporting as well. So they're probably broke as fuck. Okay. Hold on. Is it because of segregation? Because you see Nelson Mandela goes to the states to uh, ask them. It's like, open up your, come on, buy our shit, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. import export, that's where the money is in, in countries like fucking China. That's why they're yeah. so rich now. That's why war is like so unrealistic now so yeah. it cuts off so many things oh, it's just like news it's like, like the movie wag the dog <laughs> you ever see wag the dog yeah With, uh yeah. Like Justin hoffman holy fuck i haven't thought about that in a while. i watched it not too long ago again it's good it's good with uh woody harrelson who's like the one that they make up the soldier <laughs> Cause he, it's in with uh, Canadian Bacon with uh, my, it's a Michael Moore. Oh uh, yeah, Canadian Bacon with uh, John Candy and Ray Real Perlman, Pearl, bunch of bunch of people. Um, uh, Alan Eldar is it Alan Eldar? No, yeah, he's from fucking Hawkeye from fucking uh, Mash. Stupid Mash. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I, don't I like never Mash got either. into Mash. I like I, I tried watching this finale just because it was so big. It was like yeah. 10 years ago. I sort of just screamed it. Like, let's see what the last episode of MASH was like. Because that was like the serious yeah. finale MASH has got like it actually fourth is, ratings yeah. of all time. People yeah. that sat and watched it. If, if you're invested in the characters, it's a Yeah, it's deal. a little different. Yeah. It's different if you're watching. Yeah. Like I watched the Friends one. I watched the Seinfeld one. I think I may have watched the Cheers one, but I don't know. Seinfeld one. That's when they're the jail cell at the end. He talks about the yeah. butt on his shirt. Yeah. As Larry David wrote it. Yeah, fucking Kirby with the enthusiasm is hilarious as well. Yeah, it is. That's great. Yeah. It's funny. It says, know your enemy. And I was like, hey, know your enemy. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I, I got mad Rage Against Machine vibes through this whole movie. Just yeah, from yeah. Nelson Mandela, the rebel stuff. Yeah. That was cool. Which I'm seeing on July 21st. Yeah, yeah. It's about time, like you're saying. I had two years fucking later. Fun, yeah. And death tones. So I guess they're not that good, the uh, the rugby team. Yeah. Good, good speech. He's a good captain, Matt Damon. Yeah. Comes in with a beer and he's like, yeah, it does taste like shit. Fucking chucks the beer. <laughs> they all chuck the beer. They're like, because uh, this is what defeat tastes like. It's not, it's a bitter fucking taste. Yeah. I understand. But it's Sucks. something you got to learn. Fuck. That's what I say about sports. People are, they don't understand the importance of it. Yeah. Of the Learned Olympics. Mistakes. Like, Fucking teenagers go, get, you know, staying out of gangs so they join the team. Yeah, you know, that type of thing. Basketball happens all the time. Do they end up in a gang or they end up, you know? Like, yeah, there's been a lot of Toronto. There's a, like there's a guy from Toronto actually, uh, Delon Banton, and I think his name is Delano Banton. He's from like northern Toronto, playing for the Raptors. Nice. Oh, uh, that must yeah. be a dream come true. Yeah, growing up in sweet. Toronto. Yeah not bad too they did like an open gym about him on it's like a youtube channel oh yeah like a rapper thing dunk contest is on tonight too yeah yeah and then the three-pointer and everything like uh freddie van vliet fucking all-star this year yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fucking cool yeah he deserves it man he's had a couple yeah. really good games a couple really good, good seasons season. yeah 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 I, I do enjoy this movie but there's one thing that really bugged me was uh, they're 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 practicing and Nelson Mandela is in the helicopter and he's flying down and there's like this cheesy as fuck uh, song pop the song, song? It was yeah like, I I was, when I was looking at the music I was like that, that uh, it took point ten point nine off of me for the movie yeah that, the just fucking, that one scene 
the whole soundtrack, like a lot of songs, like holy fuck, man. Yeah, there's a lot of good oh. like orchestral stuff that I, that I was listening. Yeah, to. that's cool. Like the score is yeah. cool. Just yeah. they played like like real songs like in the movie, and every song was like like slow, soft rock and like pop. I was like, this yeah. is fucking weird, man. Like, You're in Africa. Uh, you don't know Star Trek, but it's Star Trek Enterprise. There was Rod Stewart did a song for the intro because it was always like uh, orchestral for Star Trek. Let's think about the other day. Yeah. And uh, Star Trek Enterprise was Rod Stewart. It's a it's off putting. So that's all, like it should have been a score. Like, you could have changed up very easily that scene. Had a cool like orchestral, like a John Williams type thing or whatever, you know? Yeah. Of him well, coming and landing the helicopter but instead of some cheesy ass fucking pop song. Uh, it's like they're trying to sell the movie. I just wasn't like, a fan you know I mean? of that part there. That, but I hated it. I know what part you're talking about too. I yeah, I, like I, I love all the rugby stuff though, and all the political stuff that was that goes along with it, and like how they the the, big, the team becomes a mascot for the like country yeah. not being segregated anymore. Yeah, like United. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Like at the very yeah. end with the kid, the kid sparking, he's cleaning up, and you think he's got a bomb or something, man. The cops look in, and eventually sitting on the the, the cops uh, hood, listening yeah, to the rugby a- game. Yeah, yeah, like, like they, they hoist him up as well. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. And it, 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 the, the only people watching, and it's crazy. Yeah, makes sense though. Like the rest of the world, it's like cricket, soccer, and fucking or football and rugby, and we don't we don't fuck with any of those sports really, <laughs> especially no. cricket. You don't know what the company is. No cricket is. <laughs> like hockey, you basketball, from? golf. You name of the huh? movie that's from? What? Cricket. You gotta know what a crumpet is to know what cricket is. <laughs> yeah, cricket. Yeah. Oh, where is that from? The Chrome is Oh, hold up. Oh, it's on the tip of my Jose Canseco back. I, I can see him. didn't pay money for that. Yeah. <laughs> I can, like, literally quote this movie from Star Trek. Uh, what is it? It's, yeah, I can see it <laughs> in my head, too. Fuck. New battle. Dun, dun. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Raphael Turtles. wins. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. That's Ralph. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's Ralph. Yeah, it's Ralph. Like, Kate. like you're saying, uh, like that, that's a movie I could probably quote from, from fucking start to finish, man. Yeah, it's funny because I've watched that not too long ago. That's fucking un- an amazing movie. Yeah. It's so underrated. Ninja There's Turtles. A new one coming out, Seth Rogen, 2023. Oh, wow. I love, I love that Ninja Turtles movie so yeah, much. Yeah, it's really good, man. It reminds me of my childhood. The like, second one's that's... not bad. The third one's terrible. Yeah. That Team NT one's good, though. I watched it over Craig's place. Smoking with, with Craig. Oh, yeah. He had, like, a really nice TV, and it was really awesome. Mm. Yeah, he loves uh, Turtles. So I remember watching it with him, fucking seeing that Raph scene with Leo. When Raph's doing, like, a vigilante thing in Team NT. You must have seen that movie. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, like the, Leo, Leo just got to confront him. He doesn't yeah. know it's Raph yet, even though he looks like a giant turtle. Even Casey <laughs> calls it out. Like, you look like a giant turtle. Of course it's you, Raph. <laughs> Leo doesn't figure it out. The movie's awesome, man. That's a, I do really do like the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I like the show, too. That's another yeah. great uh, 80s, 90s cartoon. So fucking swear Jesse Plemons and Matt Damon could be related, man. Every time I see it, like, there's one time, one movie where Matt Damon's fatter, like his face is fatter, and he looks like fucking Jesse Plemons, man. Like I was saying, they, they could be related. Guy from like, you know, Breaking Bad, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nominated for Academy Award this year for fucking Power of the Dog. Power of the Dog. You got the best best supporting actor, I think. Yeah, it's about time, actually. I was waiting for him to get nominated. Uh, Bandit and Cumberbatch will win an Oscar one day, too. He's been yeah. nominated a couple times, too. He didn't win for, uh, the uh, intimidation, intimidation? yeah. Uh, I think he was just nominated. I have to look it up. Uh, sure, I, I don't thought know won. what the spring box is. Uh, is that what they're called? Because that's the he's the captain of the spring box. And, uh, like they're saying, how like everybody hates the spring box. So I was thinking it might be like the company that owns it, or like they must be the team that yeah. they're the South African spring box or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anything about rugby. It's funny. Yeah, they end up being a good team. You know what I was thinking about, it too? If I could District 9 as I was watching this uh, movie. Oh, fucking incredible movie. Yeah, the movie's good. Uh, that's probably my favorite. South Africa as well. Yeah, it's probably my favorite, like, sci-fi movie past 20 years. It's, it's still I think the director's South African. I can't remember. Yeah. 
Neil What's your name, Bellingham. South African too? Uh, Charlize Theron. Throne. She's South African too. Sure. Crazy because the British colonized it. He's yeah. like, you know what's good about the British? One thing that's good about them colonizing, they brought us afternoon tea. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that's uh, the segregation and all that shit started because of the, the British that yeah. basically were running things in South Africa. Just like the British were running things in China for a long time. Fucking Japan. Yeah, it was a crazy movie. Around. Fucking the Martin Scorsese movie. Uh, with the priests, they go to Japan. Is it Silence? Silence, yeah. Yeah. Adam yeah. Driver, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield won an Oscar too, man. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. No doubt. He about. might. He might win this year. Tick, tick, boom. Yeah, that's right. He yeah, might. He yeah that's I, I watched it. I'm like, yeah, I could definitely see him winning. Yeah. Yeah, fucking billion people watching. It's crazy. But that's because they're like, you know, there's a billion people in fucking China. <laughs> there's a billion people in fucking India. We got it 20 is... million or 30 million here in Canada. Yeah, no, it's insane. <laughs> Look at India, man. Like, they're just tripping <laughs> over everybody. It's nuts. Like, India is like 2 it's billion. There's like 2 billion in India. Yeah. Billion. Yeah. Is it 1 billion? I thought it was 2. I thought they're hitting 2. No, no, no. It might be closer to 2 billion now. I think China's got a little bit more people than India. No, so no, right beside each other. <laughs> yeah. Same, same continent anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of funny. You know, like uh, he memorizes all their names, shaking their hands, getting ready because he, yeah, he it's kind of nice. knows how important these guys actually are. Yeah. And it's like, did they seem to get better every time he shook their hand? Yeah. It well, seemed like they like progressively like, got uh, better. The country's behind them as well now. Yeah. They they, they get that extra edge. Like, like, love rush. that song too. Montreal does that song as well. The what? Canadian, olé! Play, yeah, olé, olé. Olé. I had it in my head, man. We we're like, yeah. we we're like, a, like an hour yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom saying, olé. Uh. <laughs> this is catchy, man. Yeah, it is. It's like, bow, now, now, bow, 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 that fucking bass line, Jesus yeah. Christ. Jack it, awesome. it just drills right in your ear, man. <laughs> <laughs> The whole album's awesome. Elephant? What's that? White Stripes Elephant. That yeah. album, it's fucking great. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, White Stripes live or like oh, Jack White live right, and man. Raconteurs or something. That'd be kind of cool. I've been to a concert yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Come on, yeah, the plane scene. They're just funny, man. <laughs> I know. It's so they're weird. just like shaking the building and shit. It's scary, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, what, what the fuck? I got, <laughs> I got an air, air, airport them. right here, actually. So I see planes all the time. Cool. Oh, I wouldn't mind doing the Wayne's World thing sometime. <laughs> Do the Wah! I love Wayne's World. Is it, you know you, you you like Wayne's World, right? Ah, uh, whatever. You don't like Wayne's right. World, yeah? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, <laughs> that movie's it's part of my childhood. I'm, I'm just not fucking. Hardcore. I'm not a diehard fan, though. No. Yeah. No, you're more it's of an past my time. Did you hear? Uh, fucking Jim Carrey was meant to be for Doctor Evil. Oh, Originally, it? but he was tied in with Liar Liar, so he couldn't oh, play Dr. That... Evil, so he became, he became, Mike yeah. Myers did the Dr. Evil role. That's, that's a good choice, really. Yeah, it was liar, liar at the time. Yeah, yeah Liar Liar is as hell. It's one of the funniest <laughs> movies ever made, yeah. hands down. Well, it's, uh, there was like three or four, men. Like, I remember, <laughs> like, Boston had got to me, myself, and Irene, like, actually. Yeah, man, movie. that movie's underrated as fuck. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, fucking, I watched that. Uh, uh, just funny how you can get an emotional response from a movie. So I'm watching uh, Fighting With Your Family today. You know, yeah, like you're following, it. You're following along with her, and at the end when she wins the title, yeah, you know, a little uh, tear yeah. streams down. I'm like, yeah. I'm so proud. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did a page. Movie, man. Yeah, it is, man. That movie blew me away, too. It's nuts, because like, I watched yeah. it a couple years ago before I knew who, who Florence Pugh was. Oh, I know, I know. Like, her career is... <laughs> skyrocketed like i know her, like she's gonna win an oscar too i love her a lot like, it such a good movie man that was very feel good rocky style like that, yeah. that you know rocky yeah, get fucking... that that's why i run the rocky movies are great 
Yeah, I mean, by the end you're fucking yeah. Yeah, it's the favorite movie of all time. First yeah. Rocky. Well, just the Rocky series in general, man. Yeah. Like even parts of Rocky Five, like the the street fight isn't really that terrible. It's just not a really that good of a movie. My rings are outside. Ugh. Ugh. What the terrible. fucking yeah? No, he, well, he's kind of like his trainer. And like uh, Rocky Five kind of sucks. Yeah, but like you went from a bum to a superstar to a bum. Yeah. It doesn't even make any sense. You think from well, the best Polly, fucking Polly invested all his money in Yeah, the probably. Yeah. Fucking Polly, man. Yeah. Man. At, at the start of part three, he throws the fucking Mickey in the fucking pinball machine. It's all wasted. Then the rocket talk properly. It got so got stupid. I love when they run into the rock. Oh, sorry. I'm fucking talking about it. forever. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about the rock scene and fucking fighting with your family. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rejects from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool, man. Yeah. But this is what made me think of the rock, actually, was the Hakas. Because they do a Haka in, uh, in uh, fucking Hobbs and Shaw. The very end of Hobbs oh, and yeah. Shaw. They do the Haka. Because it's cool when they do it, man. I always like the Haka. They do it at the end of this, this movie. It's intimidating. Oh, Matt Damon and those guys are just kind of, yeah, you know, fuck you. They're, yeah. they're doing their, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. The Hawkers are cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is intimidating because it shows you're a fucking team. You yeah. can join and you're fucking, it's a very intimidating thing. You're, you're alpha. Yeah. That guy was a beast too, that fucking big Samoan dude. Oh, yeah. He's like the Australian <laughs> guy. Because <laughs> we're playing Australia. Australia beat somebody like 145 to like 20. Holy fuck. Then they say in the movie, and Nelson Mandela's like, really? In one game? You scored like 145 points? I don't know how much a fucking touchdown is or whatever it is when you score. Because <laughs> like, they also do like a, because it's a little football, like they get points for like splitting the uprights. Yeah. Like they do so, in football. What was your rating on it? 9.1 out of 10. We do get the, the I, it's funny with sports movies because. Sometimes I like it when they lose at the end. It's funny. Yeah. They go that. It's like Rocky. It's Rocky exactly, lost. It's yeah. Rocky's that thing where they go that extra mile. There, so Cinderella yeah. team that makes it to the finals, but they lose in the finals. Yeah. It's like hey, you know Sunset it's, Park, man. Some, yeah. Some, that, that one had to sit with me as a kid. Yeah. Like, I hate that movie. Hey, not that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like most movies, when they like lose at the end and shit, it's because that wasn't the point of the movie. Yeah, well, like like Cinderella. like in Rocky. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like is he they like because they're announcing like the announcements of the like what what the judges pick to win. It doesn't even you hear it in the background. Rocky's just looking for Adrian. Yeah. That's what it's focused on. You hear all that other shit in the background. He doesn't care. That wasn't the point of the movie. That fucking Rocky's awesome, man. Yeah, the score like, for Rocky. Like, can't say we good do, things. We should that. do like Stallone one too as well because then we could do like. <laughs> All the Rambo's and Rambo one, he did like there's a really good fucking scene, man. The very end of the movie, the first blood, uh, Rambo. Yeah. Oh, he's, yeah, he's talking to the, the guy, is the guy in the road, Jim there, Colonel, or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, at the very end, after he fucking destroyed the town, <laughs> <laughs> that was like film didn't like close to here, actually. Well, I guess. But what I was thinking, because where I am right now is literally probably from Barry to London. Away. So from Calgary to the Pacific Ocean is like the same amount of distance. So That's I'm crazy. like, it's crazy thinking about how big Ontario is, man. <laughs> yeah. And you never really been around, eh? You've only really uh, been in, like, in Toronto and down, down in the south there? Been to uh, Quebec, Florida, Cuba. Yeah, you never been out like... Up never been out west. Enough to like Winnipeg and fucking... No, Winnipeg. never. Never. There was a trailer at Blockbuster we had to listen all the time. It was called Winnipeg or My Winnipeg. <laughs> and we always say a thing with it. Winnipeg. <laughs> Annoying as hell, man. It could come on like fucking you know, three times an hour. Winnipeg. It was like a documentary about Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get this? Um, 7.8. 7.8. Yeah, I give it a 9.1. Uh, I like it a lot. I like that that that, that formula. It sucks, man. I. Hey. Like, I see it. Know. I see it. Yeah. You can see why. Well, I, mean, I like Clint no, Eastwood as well. Morgan Freeman was good. Yeah, this is this what I didn't like. Like Clint Eastwood, I think, was the problem with it. I don't know why. He's just, it's like a miss for him, I think. Yeah. 
my opinion. Well, you when you got like other movies that he's directed. Like I didn't like American Sniper either. I like I American got, Sniper a lot. A lot. I like yeah, to talk about that one too. And that yeah. was great. I fucking you don't you, you were you were shocked that Bradley Cooper's been knocked, like, nominated like three times. We we're talking about the other day. Remember that? Yeah, that's You're right. Like, I don't really like Bradley Cooper. Exactly. Yeah. He's, oh, fucking licorice pizza. Apparently, it's pretty good. Watch it very oh. soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we can watch that now. Apparently, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Of course. Apparently, really good in that good. Nightmare Alley as well. Yeah, it was. I watched it last week. It yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. The end was pretty cool. Nah, I should watch it, actually. My wife, well, it might be like a Halloween thing. We'll do like fucking. No, I don't know. Or about wanna... uh, Guillermo in a month. I guess he hasn't had really had enough movies. No. Give him a week. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah you, so I gave it a 9.1. You gave it a 7.8, you said? Yeah. <laughs> almost 8. Sorry. Almost, almost 80%. Morgan Freeman was great. I, I just found it I found it kind of boring. You are watching it last night after you are fucking exhausted, though. Uh, you're fucking no, but it was nice. A shit was ton like... of fucking snow. You shovel the snow yeah. after you're working 10 hours. Yeah. Like, hey, but... Sit down and watch a movie. You're like, eh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You know, it was good because I was relaxed. I was actually sit down. I could actually do have some free time. I watched it. It was I watched it a good mind yeah, frame. There's a certain mood you got to be in for this uh, type of stuff, though. It's a mood, mood is very sets the uh, sets the tone for the movie. Yeah. You can be in a bad mood and it'll just ruin the whole experience, man. Yeah, that well, that's why we like text each I'm other. Tired like, oh. or something. Yeah, it's like, oh, do you, you want to do this today? And it's like, after I'm doing like a, a bunch of shit, I just can't sit and think and watch a movie. I have to be like emotionally invested to fucking, especially oh, doing don't this. Worry, you don't even have to take notes, man. I'll fucking take notes for the both of us. Fucking talk about the movie and then we can fucking wheel and deal off all my notes here. <laughs> I, I, notes. I got four pages of notes here, man. It's crazy. I could I could still talk about probably quite a bit more, but I fucking might as well wrap her up. Fucking yeah. like saying dunk contest three point. Fucking. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Leafs are playing too. I got to put it off. Yeah, well, talking to Canada tonight as well. So, yeah, and there's a UFC fucking fight night too. <laughs> it's a crazy. I think it's a week, long weekend this weekend in the states. I yeah, think. Monday. Something about like a fucking no, it's a holiday day. weekend in the states. It's family day. Family day here. Monday. Is it? Yeah, on Monday. Yeah. 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 Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's the next movie? Is it We're Juice? Doing, uh, Boys in the Hood on Monday, and then uh, Juice Wednesday, then Dolomite. On Friday. Oh, uh, then get out. Oh, there was ending get out on Monday. And that's all she wrote. And we're going to start Monster March. Like Godzilla and the host. And fucking, we're all over the place with Pumpkinhead. Yeah. Oh, like, could they see the creature designs and everything like that? Oh, yeah. Like the Godzilla design, man. That's still iconic. They did the fucking, it was, well, King, same with King Kong, too. King Kong's kind of had a, diff, a lot of incarnations. Yeah, yeah the, the Peter Jackson King Kong. It's long winded. I really wasn't a big fan. I that, uh, that movie really kind of bothered me. The Peter Jackson King Kong movie. Oh fuck, I didn't like that. The Beauty Kills the Beast is said by Jack oh, Black. Just, why'd you pick that? Out of that movie, man? Yeah, it's Jack. I'm not a big Jack Black. Uh, fan. I'm not either, but why would you cast him anyway, even if you were a fan? No. Like what a bad cast. That was sometimes so Jack Black's all right, I guess. I, that's why I really uh, watched School of Rock. I'm just never not really a Jack Black fan. Oh, you ever seen School of Rock? Is Richard Linklater? Not really fully through. Like I've seen like uh, like it's just a oh, fun. I think it was like on TV. I caught like a bunch of it, but it's never like actually put, watched it fully through. But yeah, we'll we'll like get this one up tonight, and we'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap her uh, fucking Spotify uh, onto our Patreon. So oh yeah, sweet. Good people idea. can like you know donate if they ever want to. <laughs> Yeah, guys, uh, have a good one. See you Monday. Monday.